An Article, Confusion, and Dilemma, by Einzegall. When naturopathy experts and spiritual figures predict with a significant surety that I have no prostate cancer, it confuses, surprises, and creates suspicious feelings in mind, whereas, European doctors have diagnosed metastatic prostate cancer. What should, I believe and what not, however, my enemies stay awaiting my death, I breathe, expecting, and waiting for the miracle of Allah, it will soon happen, I believe. A A mean. I neither feel trust in Dutch urologists and oncologists nor I have the satisfaction of their treatment. I always realize that they say not the truth, how serious is my disease, they never discuss it. Today, the urologist called me, asking how I was feeling, I told him, I am suffering from mucus and shortness of breath, and swallowing difficulty. He didn't pay notice and said that endoscopy shows nothing dangerous things. I asked him, I have planned to visit my family in Pakistan and will stay longer than I used to stay. Therefore, I need medicine for that period, he replied on sympathetic way that medicine is costly if you pass away there, it costs insurance money. I requested him for MRI scan, to become sure that cancer is not spreading to other parts of the body, he declined, saying PSA stays down, so there is no need for this. It saddened me that they think about the insurance provider, but not the patient. On the other side, my insurance provider VGZ has refused to pay the costs of a new treatment in Germany, which I would try again. Indeed, all such a situation has put me into the track of a dilemma, however, God has given me the enormous power and courage that I am bearing two severe and mysterious incidents since 1980. My experience proves that none of the medicines heal. Whether those are homeopathy, allopathy, naturopathy, and even spirituality healing. It seems the rivals continuously attack to harm and damage me, who are they? The answer is simple, they are in first place Gadeanis, and on second place evil minded individuals, criminals, and intelligence agencies murderers. My fate stands as a barrier in front of me that no one sees and realizes how I have faced, and I am still facing that. God is great, and one day, such criminals will be in the court for their criminal deeds to taste transparent justice. Factually, I remain sure that Dutch institutions have provided me, workers, through private bureaus, those are trusted or risky ones since intelligence agencies can hire that as well. It is a valid question, which requires an authentic answer.